This is Hot Takes, the hottest takes in America. I'm your boy Chingo Blink. What is the name of the show? It's RPT, RPT Shorts, man. This is the hottest takes in America. RPT Shorts. It's what we react, man. We tell y'all what we really think about some bullshit y'all be doing. <laughs> like this old punk ass milk challenge. Who started this? I don't know. Do you know? I que, know it started on TikTok. Que pinche marihuana, like, esas son marihuanadas. Like, a quien se le ocurrió? Whose idea was it to be like, man, check this out. I got an idea for... There's always got to be like a one dummy idiot in the crew that they're like, man, I bet you can't get Ricky to, uh, you know, if we put all the crates, uh, you know, see if he's... Tell him, yeah, yeah, yeah. What you going to do with all them crates? Who's got that many crates to begin with? Um, I think DJs used to use them. But I don't know who would have that many. Yeah, I think you'd have to probably work at a job. Yeah, you stole them. You probably work at H E B <laughs> or you work at Borden Milk Company or, or Lactate or, or somebody. Yeah. You at the two percent factory, a dairy farm. I don't know. But that is research we gotta get to the bottom of. Not not elections, not where did the virus start. No, we need to get to the bottom. Who started this bullshit? All I got to say is Darwinism needs to take place here and is taking place here. You're going to climb up this bullshit. You're going to fall. You're going to break your neck. You know, it's what it is. I mean, what's the reward? Clout? Internet what, clout? What are they giving you? Like, how do you win at life if you're risking breaking your neck? All it takes is seeing, like, I don't even have to see evidence that this is dangerous. Like, as long as you see one or two, three clips, that confirms your hypothesis. Like, you know what? I might fall, lose my balance, crack my neck, crack a rib. Y ahorita no hay aseguranza, güey. I thought we were in the middle of a pandemic. I thought ICU beds were full, Rob. <clears throat> Somebody photoshopped a guy that fell off, broke his leg, and had a PVC pipe through his chest. And I'm like, nah, I, they photoshopped okay, it from so, what it looked oh like. Oh, my God. But if it's real, hey, ¿quién te manda? And then there was this one dude, had to be Mexican. <laughs> had to be Mexican. Pinche raza. I, don't, I can already tell how he voted. To the big dude? Yes. It fell on his head. This boy was pre <laughs> This boy was pre-diabetic. He did not look like an expert in balance. He did not look like somebody that was just nimble on his feet. Somebody that can somehow land upright or break knows how to fall properly. You know, they show you that in jujitsu. Definitely. You gotta know how to fall properly. Fell right on his collarbone. I mean, I saw one where it was two dudes and they had to like meet up in the middle. So now your balance is depending on someone else's balance. What do they do? Touch dicks then, at the end of it or what? Practically. <laughs> and then they had to like switch sides and then walk across the opposite side. One dude rolled a blunt. You, you could post this footage if, if you got it. But that guy made it, didn't he? I think so. He, he needed to be in Cirque du Soleil. He literally was like rolling the blunt as he like went all the way to the top. It got a little shaky. He, he didn't lose his cool. He just licked that motherfucker and bam, 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 slowly made his way down. He must have been the guy that came up with the idea while he was puffing it up. And he's like, man, y'all can't do it. Let me show you how it's done. People are so stupid that it shows where we're at as a society and social media and clout. Because it does something to people's brain when you tell them like the rules to some shit, like gamification in a way, where it's like, all right, first, all right, dude, you haven't seen it. Let me explain. Can I look it up? No, 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 don't look it up. Let me explain. You start with one crate, and then the next is two, so it creates like stairs, and then the next is three, four, onward and onward and onward, and you need at least 10 in the middle for it to count for clout. It's like there's probably a rule, like a math thing, where it's like, nah, bro, you did it too little. You don't even wobble at four crates. You got to be six, seven, eight crates and up. And that's when the wobble starts. Dude, but homeboy, the, the one that we were talking about that broke his collarbone probably, he, it looked like he was making the crate shake. He was shaking. So <laughs> and they're like, hey, fool, be careful. Doc. That's what the, the, <laughs> fool, the fool community, which I heard was owned by some white people, uh, the fool community and the um, fools gone wild, all these like, I get it, bro. Like, it's social media. Like, I get it. It's, it's fun to be ratchet on some world star. But, like, this is what y'all caused. You know, this is your fan base. People were like, that little bit of brain cells where they just <laughs> up on top of some milk crates and shit. Like, the fuck up, fool. He's having a seizure up there. And he's <laughs> 
Of all the challenges that we've seen over the last couple of years, do you think this is the dumbest one? Well, the cinnamon challenge was bad, where people were like, eat a whole, whole bunch of cinnamon. Yeah. That was bad. Um, what else was dangerous? But they're not hurting themselves like this. No, you could, you could really, I mean, it's a different kind of hurt. Because you could like damn near choke because your passages can close up. It's a, it's like a, not a spice, but it fucking, it infl- and then it's such a fine powder. It gets up in your nasal passages and then everything's connected. Now hey, you, Dr. Rhonda Chingo, are you making this up? No, I swear to God, bro. Like that, that's what was made it a challenge. And that's why I never did it. <laughs> and that's what was dangerous about it. Like you cannot consume a spoonful of cinnamon. That's not a good idea. Is that a challenge, Chingo Bling? <laughs> Do it. Do it. I'm, hey, I'm not responsible. Aquí no hay aseguranza. No, no aseguranza on this set. No, sir. You on your own. All right. So what What else? Was, what other challenges have we seen that went viral on TikTok? I mean, I'm forgetting. It wasn't like the ghost writing ones where people were like planking on like moving cars and shit. Oh, man. Remember that shit? And then the ones that were like ghost riding their cars too, where they started doing the, the Drake dance on the outside. Which Drake dance? The Highline Bling? No, I don't think it was Highline Bling. I think it was... King, King. Do you love me? Oh, with the hearts and shit. Oh, yeah. People were falling oh, out. Oh, my like, God. That, some people got ran over by their own cars. <laughs> the ghost riding, that the Bay Area started that shit. Mm. Ghost riding the whip. That was our, that's before social media. But when you add the fucking... Kiki, do you love me? And then the... the ah, pendeja. Because they try to hop back in. And it goes back to people not being in shape, people not having no balance. Don't hop on a bunch of crates. Don't get in and out of your car. It's just, uh, it's a lot happening, man. These dummies are wearing chanclas and shit, trying to do the dance, and then they can't run back in the car. Che deja pendeja. Ah, do it for it. Para mi snap. Babosa. It's <laughs> para mi snap. You're going to snap your neck. Dude, I saw somebody doing a challenge, kind of off subject on subject, and the guy who was doing like a dance next to his truck, white guy, jacked up, Chevy, Big mud tires and shit. It ran him over. It ran him over. Somehow, some way, the the back tire like went over. Was it over his leg? It ran over his leg, but he ended up breaking his arm. He didn't even break his leg. His leg didn't break. How did he? So what happened? He fell. He tripped and fell. He tripped forward, and just the way that he fell, like the impact of just his like his arm just broke, like Tom Segura style. And then he got ran over by his big ass pickup. Yep, lifted pickup. Yep. Damn. Maybe son. maybe because I'm old. I think once you hit 42, you just start to like be like, oh, oh hey, hey, kids, it's it's wet right there. Risk versus like reward. When they getting out of the pool and shit. Ah, ah, what kind of, what's that? Masaiko? What kind of towel is that? Masaiko. What's that from? Did y'all see all that? You know, who didn't put a towel right here? They see they going in and out, taking, they going, taking leaks and shit, and they coming in and out the pool. Somebody going to break their neck. So you just turn into like the old grumpy Republican. <laughs> and you're just bringing up politics and you're just mad. Get about, off my lawn. Like, you're just mad about Governor Newsom. You don't even live in California. Made it a record. Eight minutes without bringing that ah, Bing, 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 bing. World record. No, man, but that's dumb. Uh, the challenges. Has there been a challenge that you've, you've done and actually enjoyed doing? I don't even think I did the ice water challenge, and that was like a good cause. It was a good cause. I don't even think I did. That's a good cause. Uh, well, I never do no stupid shit like that. No. No, no, no. Even no. though you are athletic, you wouldn't do it. Yeah, you know, even though I'm almost made the team and shit. Quick know. with it, you know. Nimble. Quick with it. Fuck around, juke you in the hallway somewhere. Where's my Milo at, man? We got to bring my Milo back. Maybe he'll do a challenge. <sighs> ah, verdad que sí. Yeah, un pinche react. I know Juve needs to react to some shit because uh, he his videos do. When's what's that tomorrow? Tomorrow. Oh la madre! Yeah, I got to film that shit tonight. But um. Uh, but yeah, kids, don't, I mean, even the parents, the dads, puro vato alfa, be a good husband, get, be a good father. Don't have your wife out there trying to do some cinnamon challenge or something stupid. You know, you got to show her enough attention to where she ain't out there hopping up on some milk crates for some clout, you know. Yeah, unless she's, you know, she's a baddie <laughs> and she's athletic. And she's going to follow her BBL. Do you, boo-boo. You know what I'm saying? Rob was finna be like, if she gonna do it butt naked. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say if she no. gonna be in her drawers when she do the challenge. You can't do it on OnlyFans anymore. Might as well do it somewhere. Well, actually, um, people been saying that OnlyFans getting rid of all adult content. But yeah. I, I think it's something like that's the headline, but it's really something else. 
It's really something else. You telling me they're not getting rid of? Their yeah, it's content? something else. Everyone's like, "Why is OnlyFans getting rid of all sexual?" And it's like, "No, it's something." I just don't have the fucking answer to my tongue. Okay, that's fine. I believe mm-hmm. you. I'll take the there's headline. always yeah there's always a fucking it's just a headline bait there's always a by the way yeah it's like only fans getting rid of all and it's like no they're just getting rid of one portion or one thing or only if you pay less than ten dollars but if you pay over ten dollars you got it some shit